Pottery Field here at Norwood High School as NCM is pleased to bring you varsity action today uh, as the Mustangs take on the Warriors of Medfield. Mark Hoover along with Eric Bodenhofer. And Eric, um, you know, we've been doing a lot of these games this entire year, these home games, and Norwood has got themselves probably, you know, this has got to be their toughest competition this this weekend series with this this Medfield squad. Without a doubt. I, I believe, I'm pretty sure they, they are 9-0, and the Medfield squad, and, yeah. and ranked, you know, statewide and and I do believe the uh, the boys had a rather tough loss to them yesterday so I think absolutely their toughest test of the season which says a lot considering that you know Norwood has played a lot of really strong teams in the TVL and played them close so exactly exactly so yeah you you oh, mentioned here and here's a nice little start early on didn't get one off here on that. oh, oh that's a shame get get that yep there. Yeah. Oh. That would have been nice if he had if he had let that one go early yeah. and just at least taken the strike on that. I was seeing he's trying to work himself maybe more towards the center of the field there. But boy, a nice little a nice initial charge here by the Mustangs to start this off. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh the midfield defender did a nice job of just staying in front of him, so I think Sledson didn't feel like he really had a clear shot on net and couldn't get it pull the trigger, but um, Ooh, that probably didn't feel coming so back this way. <clears throat> you know, but you mentioned, you know, yesterday's match it was a you know a six nothing loss, and I think this year Medfield, if they've given up more than two goals, they have a number of shutouts, so they play strong defensively, uh, and then are prolific in the in the scoring department. They've got about 29 goals for and only a couple against. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of reaction you have overnight, you know, to get yourself in a mental standpoint to kind of just at least erase the six nothing loss yesterday and come out and treat it as if you know again a brand new ball game uh, and really kind of see what kind of you know, mental uh, attitude these guys have got for today's match. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think, you know, Norwood starting out, um, they're missing their senior captain, uh, Carl Schletzbaum, who's, you know, kind of a stalwart on the back line, which, of course, when you're facing a team as offensively gifted as this one is, is tough. But I know, you know, he's been missing for a few games now, and, and I think that back line has acquitted themselves well, even without him. As you see right now, you've got... Um, Michael Walsh and Will Fame and uh, Gustavo, Ruberth and uh, and Neo Gagano back there. Um, you know, that's still a strong group of defenders. And but uh, but yeah, they're going to have their their work cut out for them today. And I think Dante Zaldivar unfortunately getting called for a handball. That ball took a yeah. odd hop off the uh, turf for him. And we've been seeing that this year. You know, in terms of these kids trying to you know adjust a little bit of their game and. You know, as Dante is trying to now direct balls with their chest, you can see as they start to kind of twist and turn a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, just kind of got caught up on the arm and the hand there. Yeah, yeah. That was a, well done there by Neo, though, to chest that one down. But unfortunately, he bounced right to the midfield midfield squad. And we saw the earlier the, the coverage of the uh, JV game in Again, kind of the same thing. They, they took it on the chin. Um, but as you had mentioned there, towards the third and, and most of the fourth quarter, you know, we're able to hang tough and, and you kind of work on some of the smaller things. Yeah, um, no doubt. I think, you know, I have not seen either the JV or the varsity squad give up in a game, right? Even when they're down, these guys have still been battling, still been working hard, still been working on the things they need to work on. As Chris Giovanni, oh, oh. boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Outstanding that's, work all the way yep. through. <laughs> and you can see him, too. You can see Chris. It's just, you yep. know, you have all this field. What are the odds that you wind up, you know, plunking it off the, <laughs> right. uh, the midfield player? <clears throat> right. oh. oh, that was, <clears throat> that was some early excitement there. Exactly. It wakes the boys up here yep, on a beautiful exactly. Sunday morning. Yep. No, I mean, I think there is no doubt that Chris Giovanni has been a fantastic keeper for this team all season long. Um, but he is as gr as aggressive as they come, um, and I think you know it can be a little heart stopping at times. But here you go. Look, just look at how good this midfield team is in space, right? In, in, in tight spaces, just those quick tic tac toe passing. Um, you know, they're, they're definitely Norwood will definitely have their work cut out for them. But I was watching them in warm ups just down here, off here to our right hand side, and just even their initial warm up drills as they were kind of working on spacing and quick little passing. You just saw a great example of it just there. These guys seem to really know exactly where their teammates are and uh, where they're going to be. You know, and they they put the ball to an area versus to the man. They put it to the area 
and their teammates will run and occupy the space that the ball has been put into. It's, it's impressive to watch. You know, hopefully here on a defensive standpoint, you don't get Norwood sit there, you know, get mesmerized by the passing and kind of you're staring at these guys. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. Oh, just not enough. There. But yeah, no, I think uh, no, it's it's uh, if if their JV squad is any indication, and I mean I haven't seen this varsity squad play, but they're going to be they're gonna they're gonna pass real well. They're gonna make the off ball runs really well. Um, they're gonna have team speed. They're going to be smart tactically. I mean, it's, they're, they're just going to be a powerful, powerful squad. And, and look, Norwood, Norwood has talent. Norwood has skill. Norwood has heart. Like, they will be in this game. Um, it's just it's going to be hard to believe that they'll ever actually really be taking it to midfield consistently, right? It's just midfield's just going to have I mean, just look at this. Yeah, we're going to watch. You, know, you, you see the... <laughs> You know, is, is Mason Gold. So, no, he's going to be kind of tangled up there a, a little bit with Joseph McDonald, number seven. A um, couple other guys to keep an eye out for. I, I understand that this guy named James Layden, number 10, who kind of works the, uh, works the middle there. Um, matter of fact, that's him there. You can see him just teeing it up right here. Um, is just, a, you know, one of their strongest players. So, you know, you're here with a second game, so you had a chance to see them play yesterday and maybe have a sense of, you know, who to keep an eye out for. Um, but I think top to bottom, it's a, it's a solid squad. But you're right. You know, I mean, the Mustangs this year certainly have got some speed. You know, we, we've, seen, we've seen Jagger make many a run. Um, and, and you never know. You, you catch a bounce here, you catch a bounce there. And, and you know, I don't think Medfield's certainly going to take Norwood lightly. No, But you no. just never know. You know, you get something early on. And speaking of Jagger, here he goes right here. And with Carl, uh, Conrad Schlesbaum making a nice run through the middle there to give him a target. Couldn't quite get to him. You but see, you know, yeah, Jagger just trying to you know put it around the midfield defender there and was unable to do so. That's a nice ball back there to him. Yep. Fortunately, Conrad was had sort of drifted offside and so I couldn't charge at that. And that was a Quinn O'Toole making the run, but just keeper able to come out and handle that. Neo with a nice little flick there to Sledson. Oh, that's Finds a nice Mason. Look over to Mason. That's a great job. Oh, and he was looking for Conrad just. Conrad couldn't get around his defender to, to body him off and get to that ball. But that was a nice example right there of, of the three of them working well and towards the middle of the field there. Again, looking for open space and taking your time, just, you know, a sense of somewhat patience versus just kicking for the sake of kicking, you know? Oh, Gustavo had Neo and couldn't quite, I think he was leaning back and couldn't put what he wanted on that ball. Oh, 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 oh got he pushed right in the back. Oh, that's too bad because he was with, you know, yeah. He was with him stride for stride the whole way there on that yeah. Chris, Christopher Hoffman. Yeah. The push oh, in the back. But they're... they're yeah. Huh, okay, so I, I'm guessing this must be... The, the foul was the COVID foul, not the, not the normal foul. Yeah. Because normally well, no, that would be... Now he looks uh, like he's... I, the one referee seems to be pointing. Oh, they're giving the, yeah, the PK. So they are going to give it to him. And, that, and that's too bad because Gustavo was like literally stride for stride with Hoffman down. And just at the tail end, it looked like Hoffman had kind of maybe just kind of got the shoulder in front of him, and I think Gustavo just yeah. pushed in the back and, and down he went. So it looks, looks, like, looks like Connor White here, number 18, if I'm reading my eyesight from correctly. I guess across. He's, nope. he's eight. 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 Well, I knew there was eight eight, eight in it, so. Yeah. You got that part right. <laughs> That's yeah. right. <laughs> so early test here, obviously, for the Mustangs. I'd like to see what Chris can do on this always tough situation. Yeah. To stay on his line until the uh, um, the man approaches. Always oh, tough here. Oh, and he just sneaks it under him. It was, that's a shame because Chris at least had gone to the to the right side. I mean, he guessed correctly. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's one of those. It's such a tough thing for a keeper. I would think on a penalty <coughs> kick, it's just you have to guess the right direction. It, it's all about guessing, right? Yep. And that you know, Chris was I think guessing that he was going to drive the ball a little harder than he did. Mm -hmm. And so when he just tapped it right underneath him. You know, just a smart, a smart PK taken by Medfield, an unfortunate, you know, awarding of one. You know, they, those are the kind of things like, you know, Norwood is really not in a position where they can give up, give away goals like that. And and you know, unfortunately, the Medfield player just got position on Gustavo. Gustavo, I think, stumbled a little bit. Yep. Um, and so was unable to, uh, to really, you know play that as cleanly as he would have liked to and you end up with uh and it's interesting though that the first the the 
the ref who was in space seemed to be awarding the, the COVID foul, I think. Right, right. And the, um, the, the, the ref here on this near side. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, he, he, did, he was looking more directly at it from behind, but I just, you know, kind of surprised a little bit that they, that the, the ref who seemed to have actually made the call initially deferred. But um, it was Sledson with the heel flick in, and you got Jagger at the top of the box trying to move that ball over. A little confusion there in the back line from, uh, from Medfield. They weren't quite sure the keeper was talking to his defender, and they managed to clear it out of the danger zone. But um, but a kick in right here, can, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, easy enough for for Neo or Jagger to put this ball right into the box and just like that, really dangerous. Yep, Quinn O'Toole trying to get his chest on that, couldn't quite do it. Cleared out for another Norwood kick in, sent out of uh, uh, over the fence to the. <laughs> These sort of bandit midfield fans who are standing over there, and I do see we have a few down to our down to our left, gathering by the fence, <clears throat> ignoring the rules that you are not supposed to travel to away games. But and they're missing the chance to watch it from the comfort of their homes from on on NCM Live. Exactly, you know. Exactly. And hey, we're relatively fair and balanced in terms of our coverage, right? We, we try to say mostly nice things about the other team. <clears throat> and occasionally well, we manage to actually call out their names, too. That's true. We? That's true. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, exactly what, you know, Norwood's reaction is here. As we, we've often talked about the course of the season, if you find yourself down, how do you react? Especially you see Gustavo here. You know, to make sure he doesn't kind of get into his head about the penalty. Yeah. And because we're, we're going to need him throughout the course of today. You know, this back line is going to be, they're going to they're going to do a lot of running today. You're yeah. Gonna they're going to see gonna that be. back line doing a lot of running. Yeah. They will be they will be tested early, often, late. It's it's definitely going to be. They'll have their work. But you know, the nice thing is you're seeing you're seeing good defending through the midfield. You're seeing good defending up high by the the strikers and the wings like. This is, they're recognizing that, you know, when you're playing a team like Medfield, you've got to defend the entire length of the field. It's Terrific not, give and go yeah, right that there. Was, oh, and look, Neil Terrific Neil job. To, just couldn't quite get around, but is Quinn O'Toole going to catch up to it? No, couldn't That's quite get bad. there. That's too bad. Couldn't quite get there. But a great job by Neil there to, you know, to start the run, flicks it over to, to, to Jagger, and Jagger smartly, without even <clears throat> hesitating, flicks it right back into the area, and, and Neil just runs right through it, you know, again, kind of jumping into the offensive flow. Huh? All right. It looks like well, off the midfield there, off the arm. I think just I think yeah. he was I think oh. number nineteen or whatever was yeah. shielding a little bit, <clears throat> and putting making himself a little bit bigger so Gustavo couldn't get around him. <clears throat> See, so we've got Will Fame back there. Oh, actually, this is more than just a shield. It seems this is a direct kick. Yeah. So I guess in action there must have been more to that elbow than I realized. Oh, nicely done by Will. Yeah. <clears throat> If Quinn were only seven feet tall, that would have been perfect. But. <laughs> you know, and it's funny, too, because, you know, guys like, like Will Fame and Gustavo and, and the other seniors, Jagger, you know, you know, for them, you know, this, this is it. Yeah. You know, many of them maybe, you know, maybe going on to school and up in college, maybe able to play a little bit at the college level. But for a lot of them, this is where it all kind of, you know, comes to a slight conclusion. You've all started down at the little half nets down at the lower fields at the uh, middle school. Having people yell, rotate. Exactly, rotate and all that kind yep. of stuff with parents with their little chairs going to various uh, fields. Yep. Various drill stations and mm -hmm. the like, yeah. Yep. And it all kind of culminates. I know we had senior day last weekend because this is the makeup from the week, a couple weeks ago that we didn't have the Medfield series. Um, so for a lot of these seniors, this is their last four quarters, obviously, of high school soccer and their parents and whatnot. So it's kind of a, you know, hopefully you have a good day is what you're kind of looking yeah. for. You're yeah. looking for, you know, a, a nice way to wind up your high school career. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it, it is it is such a bittersweet thing, right? We've both gone through it. We've been to our kids last whatever in, at the high school level. And, you know, it's, it's amazing to think about, just like you said, you know, these – these these young men, right? They're now really young men. Yeah. Started out on a soccer field as as very little boys, and uh, and they've come all this way, and are representing their high school and and uh, you know, doing us proud as a town. As they, exactly. you know, I think you alluded to it earlier in the when we first started broadcasting these that that Norwood is a program was awarded a sportsmanship award from the TVL, and so I think you know. 
these, these boys have done good service to, uh, to their program and to their town and to their school. And let's, let's hope that they can maybe end that all with, with a somewhat positive final game. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. You come up here, just, just about five minutes left in the first quarter, and you, know, you take away, obviously, the PK there, which is you know, a, a tough save to make in, in any league. But, you know, for the most part, I, I think the, the Mustangs here for this four, first quarter have played with a lot of confidence. Um, they've made a number of nice little runs, a number of nice little passes working back and forth, and that oh. goes over that midfield. Yep. No, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, right now, I, other than that PK, you're absolutely right. This, is, this has been pretty evenly played. Um, I mean, I think, I think Chris has maybe had to make the more dangerous of the saves, PK aside. Yep. But... But it's not as if, you know, the field has been entirely tilted in one direction. Nice step there again by Gustavo trying to get that ball back in. You know, Norwood is, you know, again, that kind of back line has really kind of held its own, at least here early on. <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean, they've, they, they are strong defenders. They have been all season long and, you know, but there's, there's only so much you can do sometimes with the steady onslaught of a of a squad like like Medfield and right now like you said they've 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 held their own they've they've done nicely Mason Gold finds Jagger oh, that's a good nice Schlatson. idea nice idea to yep. try to move that quickly Ooh. that was close to I was going to say dangerous. I saw that that boot oh. got up a little high yep Mason couldn't quite get on that to make a solid pass oh. nice look across field boy whoa, whoa. yeah well struck there, and down goes the midfield player. But boy, I think that is that uh, James Layden. He's been the one who's kind of been taking the kicks for midfield, and that was a low, low kick. Yeah, with some serious with, pace exactly, on it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That and did, coming mm, out of traffic, right? The kind mm -hmm. of thing that it's it's hard for a a keeper necessarily to see that when it's struck. And you know, if that was on frame, you know, especially you know, Chris is a tall guy, and so you know, dropping down and playing something off the turf is not the easiest thing. Yeah. So he's Aldevar, nice here. finds Good Neo, finds Jagger, back to Gustavo, looking for Conrad. Again, a nice, a nice little sequence by the three of those guys. Yeah. You know, again, smart play on Jagger's part. Yeah. If it's not there forward, you zip it back, you allow yeah. your backliners to kind of reset the play. And yep. then if someone like Gustavo can make that, you know, get that ball in, <clears throat> Jagger with his speed or, or, you know, or, I mean, Conrad, looks like they've got him playing up top there. You know, with that height and that speed, you just you run yourself underneath the ball there. Yep, no, absolutely. Now, like, as, as the kids I have coached are sick of hearing me say, this game is played up, back, and around, yeah. right? You've, exactly. It's not always at the goal, and, and that was a good example of that, that, you know, relieve the pressure, drop it back to your uncovered defender who can then, you know, make that pass up and find the open, uh, the open man. Nice, good job then yeah. again no, there Quinn, by Neo. Quinn yeah, O'Toole, good job to chest that down, but a little more on that than Mike. Ooh. And then Michael Walsh fighting for that. Look like oh, there's some yeah. that's some this speed. Is, this that, is that, that yeah, Layden. this is Layden there on the far side. Oh, nice job by Mason Gold to come back, and defend that nicely. Oh, and then win the foul. <clears throat> Call. Yeah, we we've seen Mason a couple times this year. You know, he he is you know certainly an aggressive player. <laughs> um, you know, and I mean, and and, and, and I don't yeah. mean that no. in a bad way. I no, mean, no, he certainly 100%. is a very aggressive player, and he's entitled to you know ball possession. And I'm trying to remember if it was last week's game or maybe the weekend before where. You know, Mason would you know, you start matching up against the same player. Oh yeah, and, and he, I, and Westwood, Westwood, right? exactly. Seven, I think it was yep. the. Redheaded. That's right. Yes, kid. exactly. So yep. I think uh, Joseph McDonald is their number seven on Medfield, and, and Mason and he will probably get to know each other during the course of <laughs> today's match as well. Maybe a makeup from whatever was going on uh, yesterday. So something to keep an eye on there. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely. I mean, Mason is just he's just fearless, right? I mean, he's not the biggest of players out there, but he does not play small by any stretch of the imagination. Job there. I mean, the, the the goalkeeper Edward Ariel, uh, you know, tall guy. I was watching him during warmups. Who both their keepers, Andrew Stevens, uh, number thirty four, and this uh, Edward Ariel, uh, good strong keepers. I mean, I know it's warmups in the beginning, but boy, these guys can move. So, 
Yeah, and I saw, I don't remember which one of it was. He had, he, I saw him just pluck a ball out of the air, like mm-hmm. a, a hard struck ball and just strong hands. No. So oh, Ledson finds oh, Dante. Oh, Try to get that off the back heel. That was great work. Ledson working out finds Neo out wide. Let's see if Neo's going to put this in the box. Now he finds Jagger trying that give oh, and go again. Yep. Mason brings that ball down, unfortunately, right to Layden there, I believe. Got the whistle oh. there, and that looks like that, that looks like might be the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. Um, boy, I, I'll tell you, for, um, for you know, other than that right there in the beginning, the, the PK, and you're right. I mean, there were, there were probably some early things that, that Chris had to do in terms of saves. We had that one dangerous little... Hop and bounce yep. that, you know, fortunately didn't go in. But I really think, you know, f- for all intents and purposes, that first quarter, especially towards the tail end there, there was some really nice movement from the Mustangs, and they got to feel good about, about that first quarter. 100%. Yeah, I think, I think really very evenly matched overall. And, and I, I don't see – I didn't see yet that, you know, that vaunted midfield offense. I mean, they certainly were putting pressure on Norwood, but I don't think that much greater than Norwood was – Doing exactly. return. So, exactly. So, hey, maybe maybe Norwood learned something from yesterday, and they're yep. adjusting their strategy, and it's paying off. So we'll see what the Mustangs can do when we're back with second quarter action. On behalf of the Lancer Community Media and our foundation, we want to congratulate Norwood Community Media for their excellence work in 2019. And we also want to congratulate the town of Norwood for investing in community media that reflects the needs of its people. You do great work every day and every week, and you should be proud. It's a sign of our commitment to the town we serve. Norwood Community Media is honored to receive the Alliance for Community Media National Award for Overall Excellence. For our weekly Norwood News, hosted by Kristen McDonald. Norwood Digest with Jack McCarthy. Your Town at Work with Jerry Slater. Sports Extra with Mark Hoover and Joe Meehan. Live broadcasts of town events and gavel-to-gavel coverage of town government. The station people turn to for trusted local coverage. Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to be happy that you get one. Did I just not see Riley Little Piccolo at all in the first half, or did they sub him in for some? Oh, Connor. And I think we are back and raring to go here for a second quarter action. And Eric, as, as, as we were saying, you know, a great first quarter, all things considered by these Mustangs. And not surprising, again, we've seen them all fall. And we've seen a lot of, you know, great soccer from these guys. You know, they, I mean, the record is, is fantastic, three, two, and four. So it's been a very successful season. And, you know, they are really kind of playing strong here with this, this as you had mentioned in the beginning, probably one of the, certainly a top 10 team in the entire state. <coughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's not a good start, a little confusion there to, <laughs> yeah. to begin, but covered, recovered nicely there by Gustavo and, <coughs> and Michael. But we were saying, you got to be careful too, you know, the old poking of the bear type <laughs> deal. And, you know, maybe Medfield goes, well, wait a second, this isn't exactly how we had this uh, game planned out. So. I think it's going to be important for the Mustangs not to, you know, kind of curl back into any sort of defensive shell, and I wouldn't expect them to, 
but to continue to to do what they've done and kind of build on that confidence that I think they have to feel after that first quarter of play. I would certainly hope so. Absolutely. And I think one lineup change from the the first quarter to the second quarter. It looks like Riley LaPiccolo has checked in for Conrad Schletzbaum up top. So now you've got Riley, Quinn, Jagger, and Seledson, I think, playing the sort of the front four. Dante and Mason, the back midfield, and then the back line has stayed unchanged with Michael Flynn. I mean, uh, uh, Michael Walsh, sorry. Will Fame, Gustavo, and Neo. So, and then, of course, Chris Giovanni remaining the anchor in net as we start this second quarter. You know, some early, you know, again, kind of like that early pressure. I'm sure that the, the midfield coach, maybe during the course of that first quarter, maybe, you know, told his told his team to kind of pick it up a little bit. So we'll see how Medfield comes out and reacts, but this is a nice little turn there. Yeah. That's a, that, so Ledson just really has some some good ability to, to make those turns. I think he's only a sophomore, so get to see hopefully another two years of him in the blue and gold. Yeah, it's a Mustangs look. I think they lose about nine seniors. Um, but even watching a lot of the JV action this year, and what was kind of nice about, if you want to find a silver lining, I suppose, into all of this COVID in terms of high school sports, is we were able to bring, you know, all of those JV games, girls and boys, you know, field hockey and soccer. And you, sometimes you don't get a chance to see the JV teams, you, you know. Right. And so it was a pleasure to be able to broadcast those games and to see a lot of the talent that is you know, going to be coming up here in the next couple of years. So... Yeah, no, I mean, it, it is going to be hard. Next year definitely will be hard. Losing this many season, seniors and this many talented seniors, right? Like that's, it's, you've got a few, you know, multi-season starters. You've got just some just some real, you know, high energy, high character, skilled guys. So it'll definitely be hard to replace them. But, but like you said, we've seen a lot of the JV and there's definitely talent down there as well. So. And we have Evan Ice checking in, I think taking Quinn O'Toole out, who looked like he maybe took a little bit of a bump a moment ago. He kind of came up a little, favoring yeah, his leg a little bit. Yeah, you can see him kind of doing a little hobble there on the way off. Doesn't look anything too, too serious. But, yeah, you can kind of even see that. So Coach Healy will take a look at that, make sure he's all right. But as you mentioned, Evan in there. Oh, nice little turn by Medfield. And Chested down there by number 18, Connor White. Stavo it's a fortuitous Jagger. bounce there we for the uh, Mustangs. Sledson, who's going to find Evan if he can get back to it. Nope. Oh, wow. Great Good first step. step there by Colin Quint, number two. We haven't really caught a lot of their defensive backline guys yet. Um, but uh, as, as we've been able to see, or at least in terms of what we know, and the number of goals that this squad has led up this year, the between their keepers and that back line, they look to get a lot of clean sheets yeah. this year. And I'm sure defensively that's a source of pride for them, you know, to, to pitch these shutouts. And if they're sitting at 9-0 and and seven of them have been via the shutout, um, it's, that, that's a tough wall to crack. Absolutely. Well, and you just see, you know, you like I said earlier, like Medfield's also defending the full length of the field, right? I mean, their, their midfielders do not make it easy to, to find the space to do that, you know, that ball up over the top. And, and their, their forwards are pressuring high on our, our back line again. So I think, you know, it's, those shutouts are clearly, you know, credit to the back line for a midfield, but just as much the fact that they play, they play a full field, full team game. So. Yeah. It's like a kick in for Norwood here. Back to Will Fame, who, much to Dan Gold's chagrin, just probably put the ball over top. I think <laughs> Dan lamenting a little bit of the long ball sometimes. I think, uh, you know, and you definitely see that. You know, Norwood plays it both ways. I think they do a good job of those quick passes, and we've seen some of it earlier. Um, but there's definitely an element of that. Let's just try and put it over the top and run on it sometimes. Yeah, there's a there's a time and place. And again, I'm I'm in no way any sort of expert soccer player, but uh, again, speaking to someone like Dan Gold, who who has coached the game, who has played the game, you know, there's something about short, 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 then long. Yep. You know, you, you yep. you've got to draw them in, and then make the run and the long ball. There's a time and a place for it, and I think sometimes 
and I'm, I'm sure it's not just Norway. There's a sense of they just want to kind of team just want to pound that ball in deep and see what what happens. Yeah, yeah, and that's not unusual at this right. level because exactly. you know there aren't that many teams with the kind of skill where they can nice they can do run here by Walshy. You know, oh, they nice can try. string together the the four passes or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, no, that was a good step by Walshy from his backline position. But you know, if if you and I can see the long ball coming, you got to imagine that the other team can see the long ball coming, right? Like so. There is something to be said for get them moving the wrong the other direction with those short passes and then spring somebody wide on the. So Mike the Downing side. comes in for Medfield, gives uh, Evan eight off a spell. And it's kind of a, you know I mean there there's an example there he, right. that little ball back. To Brendan uh -huh. Harding and he just tries to to pound it in deep and, you know. Oh, oh, oh that, all right, that came off all right. Oh, there we go. There's Dante trying. He's trying to find Riley. Riley, oh, shielded off nicely yeah. by the midfield defender who just got in his way and kept him from getting there. So Evan's oh. trying to find Jagger who oh, gets makes, a turn. Yeah, some luck there oh. with that ball. But oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> 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 So I don't know. I don't know exactly what Celenson said to him, but almost immediately after that, he kind of wrapped him up, and, <clears throat> and I think it was I'm, I would guarantee you those were words of encouragement, because <laughs> um, I think Jagger's probably his own worst critic in times like that. But you know, again, a nice sense of confidence on Jagger's part. You know, take take the shot, settle that ball down here as uh, Neo sends it back. And see a play like that when Neo sends it back to Chris. Chris, you know, there's no pressure on him at, at that point, so he can wait, you know, for his his forwards and his midfielders to, you know, perhaps again work themselves up the field, open themselves up for an option rather than just kicking it for the sake of kicking it. And Chris took his time to, to survey the field. You know, smart play there all yep. around, and yeah. that's I think what we're starting to see at least, and it's been that way throughout the course of the season, as we've seen the play improve on these guys not just from a physical standpoint but like i think a lot of this game is mental you know you've got to know where your teammates are and how to get it to them yeah no i think it, there's and the mustangs there's, have really improved that this year i think yeah i think there's definitely you know it's it's the it's the chemistry it's the understanding the tendencies of your own players it's also just understanding you know you just you know these kids hadn't been on a soccer field in game situations for quite some time because you know a lot of them couldn't play their summer leagues because those were shut down and so I think there was a little bit of the, you know, you had to get back into game shape physically, but just like you said, you also had to get back into game shape mentally because you just got to remember how the, you know, how the game flows to some extent. Dangerous balls here by... Oh, boy. <laughs> I was just about to say, some dangerous work here as Medfield was really kind of moving the ball up sharply, and they continue now this early pressure here. Able to settle that ball down and just clear that out of the danger yeah. zone as they say to kind of slow things down but there was a couple nice runs there as uh, uh, Chris Hoffman was in on that along again looking for Layden on that far side yeah I think Dante actually probably had a little time to do you mm -hmm. know, strike that ball a little better but I think he recognized that there was a lot of scrambling and chasing and it was better to just let's get it out of here let's slow down let's let's catch our breath and, and, and uh, you know it's like Mason. smart again. So it looks like um, yeah, Mason. This is out probably to get himself a little breather. Yep, and um, Conrad Schlutzbaum has taken his role. Here's so Hoffman again. I think an interesting size switch since Conrad may be one of the tallest players on the team, and Mason is not. <laughs> <clears throat> Good job there by Will Fain defensively, because Hoffman yeah. had had gotten around him, then lost control, and then after Fame had taken it. Is able to draw the foul off of off of Hoffman, number nineteen. Was a you can see him down there. He's a he's a big, tall player as well. There is certainly some size here on this midfield squad. Yeah, some size, some speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nicely done by Neo, not to be bothered by the leaping midfield player. Finds Riley. Oh, it's a oh, nice bounce here. You have numbers. Finds Jagger. We got Evan Ice, Ice making the run it. to the far post. Oh, well oh, struck yep, again. Yep. And well Evan, struck yep, again. Great, great ball there, and then Evan was right where he needed to be. If that, you know, if the goalie hadn't been able to do that, give up the, the rebound. Evan was making that far post run. So, good to see. Yeah, a couple nice, you know, nice solid shots there by Jagger. And again, yeah. you can see him up there bothering the uh, the midfield yep. oh, player. Oh, nice little, nice little, hero flick by Celedson there to get past, and then Jagger, I think. 
got stepped on. Not not nothing vicious or malicious. No, just no. The, you know, I think the midfield players momentum carried him through and ended up stepping on Jagger's foot. But the Mustangs get the what looks to be the direct kick from here. Yeah. Oh, looking for uh, Avenue. Yeah. Just a little bit. Let's see if he can find someone's got to come over I was and support see, Someone's got to come down yeah. and help him out. Yeah. Just kind of hoping that you know again now the. Walsh is fortunate there, but you know I think you know maybe Walsh drops down, lowered it to be an option for Ice, but at the same time you know you've got this like I said number 19 Hoffman sitting behind you, so it's one of those well you, you know go they, in and help out right and and you know they, these guys played yesterday, so Michael may well know the speed that he's dealing with and doesn't want to get you know and, and you know just just trying to maintain his defensive responsibilities as well exactly. You know, a situation like that, though, too, you know, you've got to kind of, you know, if you're Walsh or any defender, kind of hop yourself into the offensive oh and then rely on... Gustavo's going to yep. try and find Chris back. Chris calmly deals with that. Now, unfortunately, puts it out of touch, yeah. but, but still that was nice. And that was unfortunate. Conrad Schlutzbaum looking to try to drive the ball in and just gets the rebound right back, you know, into their own zone. Gustavo wins the foot race, thankfully. But again, you know, I, I mean, Medfield certainly has has been pressuring, but but I think Norwood almost equally so. So yeah. good good match so far. Yeah, the Mustangs have given absolutely nothing to Medfield. You know, everything has been solid play back and forth. Again, here's this Hoffman. Nice turn there. And again, Michael Walsh doing a good job of yep. keeping him right in front of him. Not really. Oh, a little nutmeg there. And out for the goal kick. <laughs> Much to Hoffman's yeah uh, chagrin, chagrin. But, um, that, but yeah, he we've seen some some fairly fancy footwork by by that number nineteen. Yeah, absolutely, <clears throat> good step there by the midfield player. To, oh, and they win the kick in off a of Walshy. <clears throat> yeah, Michael's definitely been working hard this game. He's definitely they're they're. Medfield's definitely exploring that right wing. Yeah, I was going to say, this, yeah, the action, most of this, it, at least in terms of Medfield's work, has been on the near side here of the field. And that ball it's just, just not, I don't think, what he sails, wanted, yeah. certainly wanted to do on there. He had a couple of his teammates coming in on the far side, but, um, yeah, it just looks like Connor White there just got a little bit too much underneath it and send it harmlessly out for the goal kick. But he did have a couple, you know, he had a couple of the wings there on that far side. I think he just yeah, got they, underneath it. Yeah, they were making those... Those in bending runs, and yeah, he just I think weighted it a little heavier than he wanted to. Let's see, there's Let's see, Jagger, Jagger yep. working hard back there to bother the midfield defender, and another. Oh, oh you gotta boy. be careful here. here comes we go, Chris. Yo, boy. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Great job by Will Fame. I think yep. again, Hoffman's down there. That you know, Laden. Plops that ball right over Chris, and credit fame. I mean, just did not stop, and Hoffman was just unable to, to pull the trigger on that bouncing ball. So yeah, a I huge think he, I, yeah, I don't think he had there. a good sense of, no. of exactly where well was. He heard his footsteps and just yep. you know rushed his shot a little bit, and so Norwood's able to kind of uh, dodge that. You saw the you know that once uh, Layden got the turn. Yeah, that I think Chris was never going to beat Layden to that ball. No, that was the uh, yeah. You've got to respect that speed and the soccer IQ that that yeah. Layden brings to the game. Oh, oh nice great little look. flick from. Oh, and then oh, again. Wow. From, oh, oh that's I don't too think. Bad. Yeah, Dante did not. Yep. Did not know that he was getting closed in on. And once again, you can oh. see some of that transition that midfield yep. brings. Oh, quick good. transitions. Fortunate there finds Riley up top. Oh, well defended there. By Medfield, was that number six, I think, or four? Garrett Comston? I think it was a four. It's a four, yeah. <clears throat> Long ball and looking for yeah. late. No, and just chested down nicely by Gustavo. Shielded off well by Conrad Schlutzbaum. Oh, there you go. And There's a layoff for there. Jagger. And again, you got ice here on this side. Come on, get past him. Get past him. Oh! oh. <clears throat> 
Oh, oh fantastic <laughs> run yeah. again. A fantastic run again. Yeah, that was, oh, boy, what effort from, from Jagger there. Just putting that ball wide and just too far ahead of, you know, and for you know when you got Jagger speed, unfortunately sometimes you get a little too far ahead of your uh, your teammates. And I know Evan Ice and, and Riley were hustling up there, but they couldn't quite catch up to that. And Jagger just put it a little wide. But ugh, great effort by him. Exactly, boy, he's had a couple <laughs> runs, and he's had we've seen here in this second quarter some fantastic shots on net. Um, so once again, you, you see a player like Jagger, these types of plays will again his confidence will continue to you know grow during the course of the game oh boy <laughs> <laughs> so i think that one chris might have been better off just taking a step back and letting the ball come to him but uh, yeah but. again he is he like you said he is a very aggressive keeper um yeah but sometimes because you know, those balls can take funny spins and yeah. funny hops and yeah, without a doubt Ooh. Trying to get that ball out and wind up hitting your own player. So Riley gets there and finds Jagger, who, oh, I think was either oh. looking for Riley or looking to spring Evan. I'm not yeah. sure which. but Either way, these two guys up here. Yep. Yeah. And I think Evan Ice has come in and played. You know, he's been in great position. Hasn't had a lot of touches, but he has been, and you can see him making this run again. There he goes, Jagger. Jagger again with that yep. touch. Oh, just couldn't get cast. That. Oh, come on, Riley. Whew. All right, settle that down there, Stilson. Yeah, see. And he does manage just to get past. Oh, God. That kid, that kid has got some skill. That's a good look here. Come on, Evan, get to that. You got it. Oh, well, way to use that bounce. Mm -hmm. Get that, yeah, it's, get again, that turn. Good anticipation. Yep. Jagger. Oh, I was trying to lay off for Sledson, and Sledson just didn't make the run. But Riley's oh, okay. Nicely done there by Manfield to just shepherd that out for the the um, goal kick. Yeah, but some smart play here. I mean, it hasn't, you know, obviously hasn't turned into a goal, but a lot of the things I think that we have seen here in the past couple minutes have just been very, very encouraging. Good first step here by Walsh. Just settle that ball down. Oh, unfortunately just hit. Oh, Evan has come out with a nice little touch pass. He's looking for somebody. Nobody up with him, unfortunately. A little frustrated with himself, I think, for, you know, unfairly maybe. There wasn't really anywhere he could go with that. He didn't have a teammate running with him at that point. Chris, again, yeah, that number 10, I think he got it, got it with a hand yeah, there. Yeah, it seemed yeah. like that was a bit of a yep. hand ball. But he is aggressive, James Layden, so you've got to really kind of keep your eye on him. So we're down here to just under uh, the final two minutes of the first half. Early uh, oh, nice. PK by the midfield Warriors have basically been it. And the difference thus far. How's that not playing it on the ground? Oh, oh, hey, got playing it on the ground, and he's offside, yeah. so. Yeah, there looked to be a little confusion as, again, you know, Layden's down, like I said, he was down there on the ground, and I don't know if that was Hoffman again who came, you know, scorching through. Fame, see if Stava we can get looking this ball for into somebody. Good stop by Neo. A step by Neo. And That's it. Finds Looks Walsh out space. wide. He's got some time here. Evan's gone. He's got space. Ah, unfortunately, he was looking through to find Riley. Couldn't quite squeeze it through. That's good walk. And, you know, that, that's a tough match up there for someone like Walshie. Nicely done there, though. Played well. Yeah, because yeah. that number seven, we oh, know, is, has yeah. been a solid player. And Walshie yeah. was not to be denied. No, I'm a little surprised he didn't get called for... It looked a little behind, aggressive, but, exactly. Yeah. Given, I mean, again, given the the rules currently, not so much, not so much because of the you know regular run of soccer, but this whole you know. fortunate bounce there. Oh, oh! You can hear them just trying to get that ball out. Yeah, just trying to get it settled. There's huh? that flick that a lot of these guys are starting to perfect <laughs> this year. Is that? Shoulder and they yep. really able to kind of use it, I guess, as the season goes along a lot more effectively. A nice crossover there by number 18, Connor White. But right. that looks like that is going to do it there for the second quarter. And uh, Mustangs find themselves in terrific position here. Uh, just down the one goal and again, just on a, on a, on a PK. So I think for the first half, uh, the, the Mustangs and, and Coach Ely have got to be thrilled with, with, with where they stand right now. Yeah, I don't know how they can't be pleased with themselves, right? right? I mean, it's the, 
I, I don't think they've dominated this game, but the, it's been very even run of game. Um, there's been some great stuff that we've seen, some chances. Um, you know, just, I, yeah, absolutely. They've got to go into the second half feeling very good about their chances to, to tie this up. Yep, yep, for sure. So Mustangs find themselves down just one as we played uh, 40 minutes of soccer, and we will be back in just a little bit with the second half, so stay tuned. Norwood. Here, we are chosen at birth. Our loyalties are predetermined. And our families defined. Raised by the stories of those that came before us. Here's a breakaway. Bill Norman, he's in back and score! Fearlessly driven by the hope of what's to come, it chooses us. It defines us, and for us, it's everything. This is Norwood, and here, sports are in our blood. Norwood Mustangs 2015 are the state Division I champ. On behalf of the Lancer Community Media and our foundation, we want to congratulate Norwood Community Media for their excellence work in 2019. And we also want to congratulate the town of Norwood for investing in community media that reflects the needs of its people. You do great work every day and every week, and you should be proud. It's a sign of our commitment to the town we serve. Norwood Community Media is honored to receive the Alliance for Community Media National Award for Overall Excellence. For our weekly Norwood News, hosted by Kristen McDonald. Norwood Digest with Jack McCarthy. Your Town at Work with Jerry Slater. Sports Extra with Mark Hoover and Joe Meehan. Live broadcasts of town events and gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of town government. The station people turn to for trusted local coverage. Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Living Local is a new program coming to Norwood Community Media that highlights businesses and events here in Norwood. Everything you need to know about eating local, shopping local, exercising local, or even creating local, you'll find it right here on NCM's newest program, Living Local. You'll get an inside look into what makes each business unique. Only on Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Do you want to stay up to date with Nord Community Media? Then subscribe to our weekly NCM newsletter. Every Friday, our promotions department publishes an online newsletter that highlights the work of NCM and the latest happenings. It includes the full episode of Norwood News, recent clips from NCM programs, behind-the-scenes photos, and so much more. NCM works hard to deliver a steady stream of Norwood content, and this newsletter is another way to stay connected to Norwood. To receive the newsletter, just visit www.norwoodcommunitymedia.org. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click the Sign Up for Our Newsletter button, and enter some basic information. You'll then be added to our newsletter mailing list. It's all here on Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Hi, I'm Chief Bill Brooks of the Norwood Police Department. The men and women of the Norwood PD are committed to protecting you and to providing you with top quality service. We're busy. Norwood is a nice town, but in any given 24-hour cycle, we handle anywhere from 65 to 90 radio calls and officer-initiated events. We patrol the town's 10 square miles, including over 100 miles of roadways. Our traffic enforcement focuses on places where crashes have occurred, neighborhoods where residents have reported chronic violations, and offenses that impact crashes like speed, texting, running stop signs and red lights, and failing to yield to pedestrians. When we're not tied up on calls, we work hard to build relationships with members of the community. So you'll see our officers out walking footbeats, checking in with merchants, and stopping at sporting events to chat with kids. 
We believe that every resident should know, or at least feel like they know, a member of our department. So if you see us, stop and say hello. We'd love to chat with you. On behalf of the men and women of the Norwood Police Department, it's our pleasure to serve you. You know, you know, again, Eric, uh, just a great first half here for these Mustangs. Um, we were we were talking between, you know, between the halves here. These next, to me, these next five or six minutes can really kind of dictate how this, this match is going to go. We've seen it happen before a couple times where you hang tight and the next thing you know, you, you know, the floodgates open. Yeah. And so yeah. hopefully right here, and maybe that's, you know, maybe that's what, what Healy's saying to his squad, you know, let's be, be really prepared because, you know, again, this Medfield team is going to come out, and we see right here, they're going to come out flying. Yeah, already. Uh, yep. Numbers yeah. in the box and yep. working hard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a little help there on the far side. But, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting first five or six minutes, I think, that um, – you know, these Mustangs got to kind of weather whatever the Warriors can throw at them and maybe a bounce here or there, but not to get themselves, you know, too panicky. But they have played a terrific first two quarters of soccer, probably the against the strongest team that they faced all year. Yeah, It absolutely. may be one of the best two quarters I think we've seen, at least here at home, by this squad. No, without a doubt. And, and you know, and you got to wonder, like, if, if Norwood could actually pot the next goal, how does Medfield respond? I don't know if they've really been challenged this season. And if, you know, if you could go, have the game knotted up in the second half, maybe maybe Medfield starts to press. Maybe they really feel the, the pressure because they've got the pressure of trying to go undefeated. Exactly. As yep. we get, oh, Riley LaPickle, just, that ball just kept spinning away from him. He couldn't quite get the angle on it. <clears throat> But, I mean, you certainly know there's a reason why Medfield is 8-0 or 9-0, or whatever it is, because, you know, they've got the skill. And so Norwood can't be complacent themselves. Exactly. Good to see Mason, Mason Gold back in there, starting here in the second half. He had gone off, gave himself a little bit of a breather halfway through the second quarter. So he's back again, matched up again with that Joseph McDonald, number seven. Yeah, and Quinn O'Toole has checked back in. So I think whatever, whatever ailed him has... You know, they probably put some of that magic soccer spray on there it. There you that, go. That, uh, fixes. Well, indirect here, yeah. so see if the Dante. tap it to Dante and see if we can drill that just oh, over the top, get some bodies in there, a little oh, bounce oh. here. Oh. It looks like he was off, what, offsides on that? 
curious no. how he was off the, the ball. He was on sides when it struck. No one else would. Oh, well, anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, we do. Uh, we did note the, the goalie changes. Andrew Stevens comes in, to, so he'll play this, the second half here as uh, Ed Ariel leaves with the, at least the first half shutout. So new keeper. We did see him warming up anyway a little bit between the second and third quarter here, so he's not coming in, you know, completely unprepared. But you haven't really been playing at all during the first quarter, so maybe a chance here to kind of get him when he's a little rusty. Yeah. You know, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, nice, nice move, move there by Neo. Maybe take a skip yeah, there. Yeah, take a not funny bad. little bounce. You could hold for you go. I have absolutely no idea who Norwood's backup keeper is. If Chris goes... Not quick. I'm not even saying. Like, like, I don't. I, I just jinxed us. Never mind. <laughs> nothing. Never nothing like, to see here. Nothing to see move here. Please along, move along. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, you know, maybe a nice problem to have two senior keepers. Right. Um, who are right. You know, but yeah, and obviously, if, if you look, as we had mentioned, the the goals for and goals against, both of these keepers are are solid here for this this midfield squad. So, but I do know. I think that. Um, didn't uh, you know? Speaking of midfield and cross country, that the boys team were victorious uh, yesterday. They were actually. I think, I think a um, great shout out to the the boys uh, yeah. cross country team. My understanding is that uh, the teams were tied on points, but because Norwood, their seventh runner crossed the finish line before Medfield's seventh runner, there was I guess what's called a displacement, and so Norwood took the win, which is great, great for them. So yeah, they wrap up their season, but you know, good for for all those in terms of the se the senior cross country players, both uh, girls and boys, able to get out obviously, and nice way to wrap up uh, the fall sports for the cross country on a, on a big win over Medfield. So yeah, no, good absolutely. for them. Absolutely, absolutely. And then now they can all get ready to run the virtual turkey trot. Yep, yep. Actually, that won't be bad because now when for the rest of us that run the turkey trot. Not having Jacob Bodenhofer <laughs> run lights around us actually makes us feel a little faster when you don't see these kids come bombing by us. I'm we should everything should be virtual. Yeah, I, it's also nice that uh, I mean on the one hand we lose the 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 push from from people cheering, but also no one needs to see us <laughs> that red or That's breathing right. that heavily on the streets yeah, of Norwood, right? Exactly. Like, oh, look at that nice little self pass worked out for Jagger. Oh, and I think he was looking for that run that didn't yep. happen. You know, and you can kind of see again, kind of you know. Sometimes Jagger gets a little bit of the frustration, sometimes with himself or when when the play doesn't work, and then sometimes pauses for that half second to kind of, you know, either be mad at himself or whatever it is. And sometimes in this sport, well, in any sport, things happen so quickly yeah. that you kind of take yourself potentially out of the play. Yeah, so absolutely. you've got to really kind of keep an eye on that good run here. Oh, yeah, and nicely done there. I don't know if you saw that. Um, Gustavo defending the ball. Neo saw that he had the angle and kind of broke off to do that that inside run just to be in position for the next uh, next move. And yeah, and then Neo was able to actually draw the foul yeah. off of off of um, Hoffman right yep. there. So the two of them work well in concert. Hoffman's. We've definitely called his name yes. quite a bit. Yeah, you put him up top here again. I think uh, up here with uh, Layden. Here he is again. Yeah. And so he's going to play that ball back and maybe look for the run the far side. Yeah. Trying to get that over Jane to Passes there, yep. who the other midfielder. Here's McDonald again, number seven, working. It's a nice ball through there. Oh, boy. Well, it's a quick little flick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's too bad. There yeah. is Layden. We've been talking about him. Wait. Oh, no. Nope. 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 I think that's... No, I think maybe there was a little... Oh, okay. I wasn't quite sure because yeah. I, I, I saw that the uh, one midfield guy down there... Yeah, I think it was, I think it was the see. fact that the... Uh, the midfield player followed the ball into the net after the score and gotcha. got tangled okay. up with the, the Norwood defender. Well, that was... was we was hoping. Maybe there yeah. was some sort of disagreement over the call, but uh, mm -hmm. no, you're right. I mean, we, we had mentioned James Layden and uh, just got a step on it as uh, they were able to get that ball over to the far side. Um, so the Mustangs find themselves down too. Now, again, certainly, certainly in this match... And we had mentioned we want to see what happens in the first five minutes. And goal comes in the first six and a half. So. Well, they've issued a yellow card to Hoffman, I think, for his actions there following the ball into the net. Um, probably kind of a sportsmanship call there. Yeah, I think it looks like the <clears throat> yep. 
once again, maybe one of the coaches trying to, you know, figure that call out. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right. I mean, get some explanation the far side mm -hmm. there by the ref. Coach doesn't seem too happy with it. Because then on the yellow card that Hoffman will have to go off. Yes. <clears throat> and I don't know for, because I remember seeing a couple yellows early on for the Mustangs. And I don't know how long of a, quote, timeout Hoffman has to go for. Um, but something like that, a play like that, which, again, there's no reason for Hoffman to do what he did. No, that ball was clearly in yeah. the net. I'm not really sure why he felt the need to follow it in and sort of rub a little salt in that wound. Yeah. But, but again, hey, look, these are kids playing the game hard, and, and he may not have really meant anything by it. And just, you know, but unfortunately for, for Medfield, they've lost – a very strong player for a little while here, at exactly. least. I don't know exactly so what the... Interesting to see if the, if the Mustangs here can... Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> nice try by Layden. Yep. You could see he was trying to sell that. Yep. And uh, Ref was not having any of that. Nope. So. But let's see how Norwood can respond to this, because you know, that, yeah, that goal, again, I think, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, It did not seem like that dangerous a play to start with, but then, you know, um, Layden just strong enough to to shield off the defender, and, and then when Chris came out to just chip that ball over there, Soledson making the run, winning the kick in. Well defended, though, on that far side by Connor White. You know, and again, you can, you can see that they're not going to give you anything here. You are really going to have to earn every pass yeah. Every play, they're going to challenge you nonstop. So, well, and it definitely seems like you know. Other oh, than maybe, oh, that right was there. well done. Great oh, turn. Unfortunately, just not anyone there to get yep. that. And the long ball up to Laden again, handled easily there by Will Fame out for the, at least to slow things up, right? Like. Will Fame again. Nice, nice team defense there with Michael and, and Will Fame with sort of the overlapping layers to, to put that ball back out of touch. Yeah, but you can, you can just see kind of the speed and size that Medfield brings here. Yeah. Um, they work very, very well together. There's a quick little, again, some yeah. very nice first steps there on the far side. I think that's Jake Kramer, number eight, if I'm reading that one correctly on that far side. Yeah, the, the, the original goal scorer for... For Medfield on mm -hmm. that PK, yep, yep, definitely has some, got some skill there as well. Now it looks like they're they're subbing Layden in over there. See maybe if he can work some magic, which he's already quite a ways wow. past. And also struck in nicely there, yep. boy. He is so fast on that line, and then mm -hmm. you know just yeah. so unselfish as he moves in and literally put it on the foot of one of his teammates and kind of got it into some traffic. But yeah. a great give and go. And that ball goes wide for a Norwood goal kick. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Norwood responds to this, right? The, the, they gave up that goal. Um, you know, there was the, the yellow card on Medfield, and so, you know, tempers maybe flared a little bit at the end and, and see if Norwood can calm themselves down and get back to playing the game they were playing earlier, which was very effective. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's the thing that these guys have got to remember is that, you know, at least for this, you know, first – two and a half quarters they have run with this team the entire time yep oh that and was unfortunate we, that was really unfortunate oh good recovery there by mason he's still got this yep. he's right there yep. but yeah right what was interesting to see on that you know uh, hater saravia number 23 was trying to get I don't, I don't, and again i don't play the sport so i don't know but it seemed to me trying to get that little extra step when maybe if he had just kind of you know taken the shot and again he sees the field much better than I do. It's like whenever you hear people yell, shoot, shoot, right. you know, they're up in the stands and they think they know exactly, you know, how to go. Layden trying to get the oh, call there and he does. Another, <clears throat> another wow. PK there. Oh, no, no, wait. I think they're actually sending it. It seems like they're oh, okay. making Maybe, the, put yep. the call on him. I think so. Well, yep. That's fortunate, yeah, because yep. you could see he – that's twice that he's tried to do that, just, you know, both fairly recently trying to – can't say that I blame him. No, that's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Sell the foul, right? Yep, right. And yep. Uh, I, I think that in both cases, the ref was was not buying it, but he has got a very fast first step. Yeah. Oops. Oh, let's see if Quinn can get to through. that. 
I'm starting to see a little bit of chasing here by the Mustangs, and they yeah, and kind of lost that sense that they were had before, where there was a little bit more work in terms of passing and movement without the ball, instead of um, acting their most reacting now, and um, midfield's kind of starting to pick the pace up a little bit here. Yeah, I think Norwood's they just can't seem to quite break through that initial wall of pressure from midfield to settle themselves down, so it's a little more kick and chase. Um, Dante Zaldivar doing a nice job there to break that up. Layton down on the turf again. He's got that one little move that they just seem to be working here where Kramer will tap it to him, and he'll run right along the goal line. Yeah, he's doing a good job. I think Michael Walsh is like is kind of charging hard at that first um, yeah. first ball, and like he's using his momentum against him. But you know, we tried. They tried the long ball in, and nice effort there by the midfield player who's at number number eighteen. Number eighteen. Uh, oh, that's Connor White, the def defender, coming up trying to keep that ball in. Couldn't quite catch up to it. Give them a little distance here. Right, and trying to find trying to get to the middle of that field there, but again, Kramer again, just strong in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to give this this team really kind of a chance to start to gain. Not that they probably need to gain confidence because they know in terms of their record and their abilities so far this year. But the more you can kind of keep pressure on them, keep this game close, and maybe hope for a mistake here and there. But if they head on up you know, by an insurmountable lead, then they'll start to probably, again, play with more confidence. They'll play kind of like that keep-away game. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, and I think just, you know, we don't want to, don't want to let them get into the, any sort of rhythm. Where exactly. They really just, oh, nice, nice, nice little touch work there. To Mason, who couldn't, oh, he finds Riley, nice, yep. who looks for Neo. So, no. Neo tries Neo's going to get the, oh, that's a great oh, job just, to the area. Oh, the, oh, nice job, Riley. Oh, and he wins nice the kick, and yeah. well done. Great job. <laughs> great job. Boy, that was that just that was like that was dancing along the line. It was. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, nice try. Yep. Trying to sneak it down, oh. there, just didn't put enough on it. Oh, Gustavo with a nice step there to send it back in. Oh, they're gonna yep. get the handball there. <clears throat> His upper arm. Yeah, White was trying, trying to, to go. Chest. No, no, no! Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You're in See, a decent now, position here, so I mean, you can. I would. I would I if they're going to give it to Dante, who's who's really good at putting the ball in net from distance. Actually, oh, yeah, going to let them get that set up here. Yeah, roll that ball a little bit forward. And it's a direct give yourself kick, an so. inch or two. Well, this would be big if Dante can really get this ball in and see if Jagger can get look for some sort of rebound here or something. Oh, just didn't get enough under it. He was trying to bend it in a little more, and the midfield defender closed quickly and, and managed to deflect that. Good chance there for the Mustangs. Some nice reaction here. I mean, in terms of we said, you know, how the how the boy's going to react to that second goal, and uh, good idea back in, back in midfield up. Give yourself some space that you're entitled to. Oh, just got to get a little more. Oh, whoa, whoa, nice little, nice little hop. flip. Okay, good job by the midfield keeper to come off his line and, and clean up that. that that mess. Yep. <laughs> for putting his hands Gustavo, on his back. Yeah, right there on the, you know, pressing on the back. So Medvid will probably take his time. You know, just kind of get themselves set up here. So Brendan Harding, the defender, is going to drive that ball nicely oh, struck. Nice struck. Well weighted, right? Oh yeah. Well, oh boy. Be very careful yep. again. Yep. Chris, get back in your net, please. <laughs> <laughs> You know, something like that. You can just see the, um, the sportsmanship there on the far side as, as Dante kind of got tangled up with um, uh, Evan Adolph. And, you know, again, no intent on anything like that. And he, you know, gets up, gives him the COVID high five or whatever <laughs> they're allowed to do nowadays. That's a great oh. ball right there. That's yep. dangerous. Yep. And then the handball, okay. I think. In the, yep. I, think, I don't know if that was dangerous. I mean, it was a nice attempt at the bicycle kick, but yeah. again, I think the midfield player ended up handling the ball. Um, There's a conversation conference. there again on the Let's far this side. Doesn't result in another change right. of call. Right. Yeah, because that'll be twice. It'll be the yeah. same referee who might yeah. change it on um, yeah. on Norwood, but hopefully uh, he'll defer to his 
and what? No, it's a stop the clock oh, situation. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the discussion is. They give what? That is, if if, if that's going to be another PK. And again, now that's twice. Yeah, that the ref from the distance far side is overruling his counterpart. That was, you know, like literally right in the middle of the uh, the play. So now he's trying to, to explain it there. The coach does not. I mean, you've got to be kidding. He me. doesn't seem to be protesting too much. Why? Well, mm. So I don't. Maybe whatever it is, and we're we're just trying to figure this out as well. Just about. Stop! Stoppage clock. The ref stopped it up there with about three minutes left, as they still try to figure out exactly what this oh, is going to be. He just be. gave a yellow card to Mason Gold for arguing. <clears throat> so we talk about you know we didn't want to see things go off the rails here for for the Mustangs who have played a phenomenal three quarters of soccer. And, I uh, I just I do not understand yeah. at all how the ref all who is playing who is responsible for the other side of the yeah. field the other half of yeah. the field was able to make a call. Um, yeah, from that distance it's to change, like the ref who was right on. I, I'm, I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I didn't see it. I don't understand it. It seems like so is a, a, a match a, up here of the the same before. Is Kramer will be sitting here to take a second PK of the day. <clears throat> so this is going to be interesting. Like so, Chris knew that the first time, you know, he he, w yeah. he went to Chris's left. So I wonder if Kramer's going to think going to do that again or come back the other way. He comes back the other way. I had a feeling he was going to do that yeah. because the two of them kind of knew each other, and Kramer gets his second one, both on PKs today. Yeah, that's just I don't yeah, get that a, at all. That's, a, that's, that's a hard shame to of hard a call. to swallow. <clears throat> hard to swallow. Yeah, I think Coach still looking for explanation and you know not pleased with it. Yeah, I just really do not understand how a referee that far from the play makes a call that gives up a penalty kick. Yeah. Like, that's, that's just... Yeah, that's a shame. That's yeah. a shame. Now, again, I, I don't know what he saw that we didn't or what yep. he saw that his, you know, his better half didn't see as well because there certainly had been a call with it coming out, and then just like that, for the second time today, the call was reversed, leading to penalty kicks, which, um, again, Kramer's yep. able to bury no, both nice of them. Nice step by Walshie there. But, yeah, that's just... I'm, I'm going to go back and watch the uh, our own broadcast of this NCM just to see because I can't. Out where that came from. That's yeah. right. So this is going to be interesting here. I, once again, make sure that uh, tempers don't get themselves carried away. Mm. But you can understand. I mean, like, you know, it's just a shame oh, for yeah. Norwood, right? I mean, they're playing such a great game. They get one one call again. A ref cross the field changes it to a PK that gives up the first goal. Then they give up a second goal. Then this third, like, how can you not get frustrated yeah. when you feel like, oh, sure. you know, you're already, you know, battling the best team in the league and the refs are... Not helping you out. Again, look, look yeah. where that ref... I'm sorry, I got to start popping <laughs> on this. But look where that ref is right now. He was about there yeah. when he made the call for the penalty kick in the box where the other ref was right on top of the play. So what he saw, I would love to know. So yeah, it's you know it, it, it's a shame, but but again, you know these call it's part of the game, you, you yeah. know, and and so someone like you know hopefully, you know Mason took that took that yellow, um, you know you don't you don't want to finish, you know your senior year your senior game on like that. So I'm sure he's kind of you know getting spoken to to at least you know calm yourself down, yeah, because they're going to need him, you know they're going to need him here in this fourth quarter. to make sure that this game does not get away from the Mustangs. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to see it get, you know, too messy or too too sloppy. Yeah. Um, certainly don't want to see it get chippy, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. It's, it's not – the midfield players did not make – like, that's not – that ref's call was not their fault, right? right? So you don't want to see the boys taking their frustration out on their, uh, their opponents, right? And certainly, like, being a ref is a tough job. I get it. But, man, mm. I, that's just – I don't know what that guy's got against Norwood. <laughs> Maybe it's like President's League Hockey in Quincy. Yeah. It's, just, it's just the name. It's just the name, Norwood. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so that's a nice little look ball through there, too. Nice job from Chris to come out. Yeah. Slide uh, on that one. Conrad could have taken a little more time yeah. with that. <clears throat> but I think what's going to be important here is the Mustangs get through this third quarter here, have a chance to kind of regroup. 
for their final push in the, the final 20 minutes and see what they see what they can kind of generate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of this key to any game is, again, that communication. Make sure Chris is talking to his back line. The back line is talking amongst themselves. Yeah. Nice work there by oh, Dante. No, going the other way. Okay. You're kidding. No. I was just about to say great work there yep. by Dante to draw the foul from Layden. Not sure at all how that, but that's and all right because uh, that's the ref. On the far side ref. Yep, yep. I was kind of maybe hoping maybe this near side ref would overturn him. But, yeah, yeah see, I think even, you know, Coach Healy there is trying to maybe get an explanation in terms of what his players have or have not done. But got to continue to play, got to continue to play, and, and maybe afterwards – then you can kind of. Uh, oh wait! Quick, we'll, we'll so we got on. a call going this way, but let's we'll see look, what we'll look to the let's look to the far <laughs> ref and see what he might do in this I situation. I can imagine a lot of the parents that are yeah. here are probably looking across the field to see what the call is actually going to be. But of course, you know, I maybe should stop because who knows? I'll go home, I'll watch the game, and I'll realize like, oh, well, it was very obvious. Well called. I, well, yeah. yeah. And if that's the case, then um, I'm sure kudos I'll figure you, out. Yeah, kudos to you, sir. But right now, I don't believe it for a moment. So. <laughs> So Mustangs trying to finish up this third quarter here. Again, it, I, I think the, the refs here got to make sure that uh, you just saw him there talking to Robert Spath, just to make sure that these kids don't get a little bit too mouthy. And I think along those lines, right there, I, I'm not quite sure. Again, the ref is showing the X, looking to stop time. <clears throat> So there just appears to be a lot of confusion, both from the coaching standpoint and from maybe both of these refs right here. I'm trying to see. We just had a quick oh, sub looks in like, here. Yeah, it looks like the midfield player may have been trying to go. Maybe that's why the ref stopped time because the redfield player was trying to, an injured midfield player was trying to get off. But So Papadopoulos comes here on this near side defensively mm -hmm. to finish up this third quarter. So we're finally back in back in play. Probably under about a minute left here in the third. Mustangs need to just kind of settle themselves down. Dante. It's a good little work oh, there. Trying to find trying, Conrad. Yep. Find Sledson, who tried to make the little tap to Quinn, who was initially making that run to the interior. And it's a nice little turn there by De Figueredo. Oh, boy. Looking through some space here, yep. and he just... Passes turns that passes sends that one just wide, but you know again just want to get through this third. You don't want to let anything else in. No. And just kind of get yourselves regrouped here for your final again for these seniors your final twenty minutes. Yeah. Josiah Papadopoulos looking to. Yeah, you're sending that way to the far side. You see Kramer over there, score of two goals on, on both on PKs as Leiden works down there with Walshy. Walshy staying with him all the way there to the to the to the very end, but there goes the whistle there to end that uh, end that third quarter. Mustangs find themselves down three after three quarters of play, and you know again, I it's one of those you got to kind of like let it go in terms of PKs or penalties, whether it was a correct one or whether it was not. Um, and I think that that's what, what Healy's going to say to his boys here for this final 20 minutes. You know, again, for the seniors, this is it. So go out and play that final 20 as if it was, in this case, the last 20 minutes of high school soccer you're going to have. So you might as well put everything you have out on the line and see what, see what they can do for the last 20. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, you're absolutely right. The boys have just got to put the prior three quarters behind them. Not ignore the scoreboard and just they were they were playing really really well and yes. so they and just they have. that up yep yep they yep. have so we will be right back with the final twenty minutes of action up here at Murray Field Mustangs find themselves down three nothing we'll be right back.
want to stay up to date with Nord Community Media, then subscribe to our weekly NCM newsletter. Every Friday, our promotions department publishes an online newsletter that highlights the work of NCM and the latest happenings. It includes the full episode of Norwood News, recent clips from NCM programs, behind-the-scenes photos, and so much more. NCM works hard to deliver a steady stream of Norwood content, and this newsletter is another way to stay connected to Norwood. To receive the newsletter, just visit www.norwoodcommunitymedia.org. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click the Sign Up for Our Newsletter button, and enter some basic information. You'll then be added to our newsletter mailing list. It's all here on Norwood Community Media, your home for all things Norwood. Out there, but I don't see... Well, yeah, that's, that's interesting as we as we're welcome back here for the the final quarter. But yeah, we were just wondering in terms of uh, the yellow card situation, as we do see that Hoffman is back on.